Because I know you're worthy. I know he's worthy. I'm not doubting whether you're worthy or not. I know he's worthy.
They gave large money unto the soldiers, saying, Say ye, tell a story. Tell us untruth. Say ye, his disciples came by night. That's what I want you to say. And stole him away while we slept. And if this come to the governor's ear, we will persuade him and secure you. Amen. So they took the money and did as they were taught. And this saying is commonly reported among the Jews until this day. This lie is still being told me. Amen. So in the 15th chapter of the book of 1 Corinthians, uh, the first, uh, eight verses, more, brother, I declare unto you the gospel which I preach unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preach unto you, unless ye believe in vain. For I deliver unto you, first of all, that which I also received. I'll tell you what I heard. How that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to what I read, according to the scriptures, what I heard. And uh, that he was seen of sequels, and, and then of the twelve. After that, he was seen above 500 brothers at once whom the greater part remain to the present, but some are fallen asleep. After that, he was seen of James, dean of all the apostles. And last of all, my personal testimony is, he was seen of me also, Hallelujah. as one born out of due times. May God have blessed you to read this here. Do as believers of his word. A common saying uh, is among the Israelites, perhaps, to this day. It was to the day the scripture was written. It was going on uh, that the disciples came by night and stole his body away. I would like to use a thought this morning, a man, a kind of two parts thought this morning. That's not true. Jesus is alive and well. Hallelujah. That's not true. Jesus is alive and well. I tried to be a little mild with my uh, subject, Brother Larry. Amen. Uh, I was led to, I was, I was thinking I was going to say that's a lie. Jesus is alive and well. But sometimes uh, we have to be a little bit more appropriate. But I believe somebody would say, uh, uh, Sister uh, Sister Rita, Sister Sierra would say, Pastor, that's the same thing. <laughs> it's not true, it's a lie. Amen. Amen. Uh, you know, back in the day uh, uh, when I was a little boy, uh, Daddy used to say, don't say that's a lie. Let's say he, he told a tale, he told a story. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But you know, the Bible is full of examples of. Uh, but it, it, it points out that uh, uh, they use the word lie. Amen. Amen. As being something that's untrue. Uh, Jesus almost called a group of people a lie to their face. And in the eighth chapter of the book of uh, uh, St. John, he was telling the uh, Jews, those Jewish Christians, they both know the law and everything. And they say, you know, Abraham is, a, is, a, is our father. Jesus said, no, Abraham not your father. Your father is the devil. Amen. Amen. Uh, he, he said that the, uh, the devil is a liar and he is the father of the liar. Amen. Amen. He said, uh, you are not your, you are your father, the devil, the lust of your father, you will do in eight chapter, the four to four verse. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bold not in truth because that is no truth in him. And you want to know who originated the lie, Sister Gorn? It was the devil. He is the father of the lie. I know I don't want to be like the devil. Somebody says, I want to be like the devil. I want to be a Christian in my heart. I want to tell the truth. I know that God hears me and he sees me. I don't need to be dishonest. Somebody say, thank the Lord. Uh, he 
was the origination of the lie. And we want to look at some other interventions in, in history, uh, perhaps in the revolution. Uh, uh, area, uh, a revolutionary area, uh, the invention of the cotton spin or wheel or what have you, the, the Wright brothers and the diesel. We had to go back and great interventions came, but when we want to know what the lie came from, look at Genesis, the third chapter, and you'll see the old servant, the devil, coming to Adam and coming to Eve. Amen. He said, you shall not surely die. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. One thing about the liar, amen, sometimes they'll tell you one side of the story and, and they'll purposely leave out the other side of the story. Hallelujah. Perhaps I'm not going to surely die right now. I'm not going to drop dead right now. But he uh, didn't tell me that I, I will lose my connection with God. He did not, he did not tell me me that uh, uh, I will be eternally destroyed forever and ever. Amen. He would not tell you the whole truth. He would not tell you everything that is to be uh, told. Amen. About the truth. Amen. Because he is a liar. Somebody tell God thank you. Thank you. Amen. He didn't tell me. Amen. I would lose my innocence. He didn't tell me Amen, that uh, I will be destroyed forever and ever. Paul told the Corinthians church in Colossians, the third chapter, the ninth verse, uh, it says, Lie not one to another, for you have put off the old man and his deeds. In other words, I may used to be a liar, but yeah. now I pull off lying. Really? Amen. Paul admonished the church, you put off this honesty. Amen. You have integrity. You know that God even sees the heart. He even sees the intention thereof. Amen. So I want to feel God and be a truthful in my heart. Lie not one to another. Somebody tell God, thank you. Speaking of lying, speaking of lying, Deacon Boa, amen. Uh, Easter, uh, 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 the rabbit uh, does not lay eggs. The hen does. <laughs> Hallelujah. Speaking of lying, amen, amen. Uh, uh, reindeers don't fly. Amen. Reindeers don't fly. And uh, a Santa cannot get down in all of our chimneys in one night. <laughs> hallelujah. Somebody say, speak the truth. Uh, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. A lie can cause great uh, destruction. A lie can cause the wrong person to be behind bars for a mighty long time. So, a lie can break up families. A lie can break up homes. It can have lasting damages on a person's reputation. A lie can be a very detrimental. Amen. And preacher man, preacher man, amen. Uh, uh, tell the folks the truth because a lie can cause your, a person's soul to be lost. Amen. Somebody tell God, thank you. thank you. You don't want the doctor to tell you just what you want to hear. You want the doctor to tell you the truth. Yeah. And if we are spiritual doctors, we call each other doctors. What's going on, doctor? Yeah. Amen. If we are spiritual doctors. We are to tell people the truth. Yeah. We are to tell people that the wages of sin is death. Yeah. But the gift of God yeah. is eternal life. Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. We ought to tell people that none but the righteous shall see God's face and peace. Hallelujah. We ought to tell people, know ye not, that the adulterers and the fornications and liars and murderers and the affinity with mankind and hallelujah, all unrighteousness shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Tell me the truth, preacher man. Don't just take my offering and my tithes and pat me on the back. It's my soul that's at stake. And I don't want my soul to be lost. Somebody ought to tell God, thank you. Tell me that, yes, I can come to God just as I am. 
But, but when I get in his presence, he gon' me to change some things. Ah, uh, Lord, I can come just as I am, but when I get to his presence, he gon' tell me to repent. He gon' tell me to turn from my evil ways and take up the cross and, and follow me. Somebody say, tell me the truth. Tell me, tell me the truth. Shout yeah. Shout yeah. And Matthew in the 28th chapter, one of the greatest lies uh, was told, amen. But I'm glad that I know the truth. Uh, because Paul said if this was a if this was the truth uh, that Jesus did not rise, uh, if this was true uh, that the disciples stole his body away. Uh, Paul says in 1 Corinthians 15 and 13, but there will be no resurrection. And if there will be no resurrection from the dead, Christ is not risen. So if Christ is not risen, that means that I'm still in bondage and yeah. death got a toll on me. Hallelujah. And death can hold my body down. is in vain and our faith is in vain. Hallelujah. In other words, if this is not true, hallelujah, we will not have the gospel message. The gospel which is good news that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures and he was buried and he rose on the third day, and because he lives, we can face tomorrow. Somebody shout yes. This is the message. Hallelujah. If this is true, then our gospel message will be no different than anybody else who serves some great leader who had a great vision. Even the unbelievers 
may talk about you tough, but they don't want you to fall tough. They want you to keep going on tough yeah. because, because you tough are making this journey tough and give them hope tough yeah. that I don't have to be in the muck and the mile tough that I can be free tough. So it don't matter tough. Even the unsaved know tough that something happened tough. These men tough went to the city tough to tell the high priest tough something happened tough. Matthew 
Give us a call. Amen. Give us a call. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Give us a call. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. Amen. I can't get going. Thank God for you. Amen. Give us a call. Amen. Happy Easter again to everyone. Amen. Happy Easter. Amen. Amen. We love to have you in our midst. Amen. And pray. If you need, if you need prayer, if you need prayer, call us. Call us. We'll pray with you for you. Amen. If you want to uh, uh, be a blessing, uh, we're P.O. Box, P.O. Box 642. Amen. Uh, Natchez 392. 39121. Amen. Amen.